Hey everyone, my name is Sam Kimball. I served in the England Leeds mission. I have, my ancestors are from England. Um, I've had my grandfather serve in England and so that was one of the coolest things for me was to be able to be called to England and um, be able to kind of understand everything that they've, they've shared and told me about, about this place. I'm sure many missionaries that go out into the field, they're just any normal high school student, good study habits, maybe not the best study habits. I was kind of on maybe not the best study habit side. And so going out onto my mission was a big learning curve for me because you have a lot of time to study, companionship study, personal study. Um, one of the things that I learned that helped me personally was kind of like planning my time that I had to study. So for my personal study, I would always do 20 minutes in the Book of Mormon, 20 minutes in Preach My Gospel, and then I would have kind of 20 minutes of like uh, a free time based on something that I wanted to study or something that I thought one of our friends that we were teaching needed to learn and uh, maybe had questions about. And so I would kind of try to split up my time evenly and we would do the same thing for companionship study. Um, and that was one of the things that really helped keep us on track for our studies and really helped us. On my mission, one of the biggest things I learned was to one, trust in the Lord's timing and to act on like every little prompting, even if, even if you think it's kind of silly, um, because that basically is going to show the Lord your willingness to do whatever he, he needs you to do. Um, and that that helps him know that he can call on you and he can give you those those responsibilities and those things to do and one of the one of the best stories that i think i have and i've always remembered was um it was after church on a sunday and we just we wanted to get outside so it was a little cold it was a little chilly we went to uh we went over by the university and just started knocking on doors. We were getting close to the end of the street and we were kind of discouraged. Not many people wanted to talk to us. Um, however, on the last door, um, there's a guy that opened the door. We asked him if he wanted to hear a message about Jesus Christ. And he was from China. So, you know, over in China, they don't really get to learn much about God and Jesus Christ over there. And it really sparked interest with him. And so he invited us to come back and we slowly started teaching him and the coolest thing was I was able to be there the entire time that he was taught up until his baptism. And after his baptism, um, he wanted to get the, the priesthood before he went back to China. And we got to keep in touch with him when he went back to China. And once he went back, we found out that he took his family to church with him, which was over an hour away. He got his grandparents on family history, and um, in the last year, year and a half, he's gotten the Melchizedek priesthood, and he's, he's just been progressing so much. And that's all because we decided to just take a small little prompting to go outside and knock instead of talking to people on the street. And that's always stuck with me after my mission is act on every little prompting no matter the size of it even if nothing happens you know God's at least gonna know that he can trust you with things to come in the future I think the things that I learned with with God's timing were you know he puts people in certain areas he puts you in your mission at a specific time for a specific reason. Um, I have friends that have been called on their missions during um, you know, COVID and right before COVID and they, they have a different skill set than I did. I love to go and talk to people out on the street. I love to be there in person to shake their hand. Um, but a lot of friends that I have, they have different talents in technology that they're able to use for the current situation. And so, you know, things with God's timing is you'll be called on your mission at a certain time because you have talents that 
other people don't, that other people maybe, you know, a couple years ago didn't need to use. And I think that's one of the, the, the biggest things that I've learned is, is trusting in the Lord's timing. And if you don't see a reason why right now at the moment, you'll, you'll see it just maybe a little bit of time before you do. Well, I'd say that if anyone that's watching this is kind of on the fence about going on a mission, uh, I was as well. <laughs> um, it was really difficult for me at first, but I just figured once I get out there, once I get going, um, the ball's just going to start rolling. And it's, you, you can't really explain how, how easy it is to get lost in the work. Once you get started, you just, you get lost and you know, you kind of forget about yourself. You forget about your problems. Um, it's, it's honestly, it's incredible. You know, you kind of forget the things that you've been worrying about and you start taking other people's burdens on your shoulders and you don't even feel like you're carrying anything.